Good morning, Redwood, and happy Tuesday. Today for lunch, we are having chicken drumsticks or cheese breadsticks. And I just, I double checked the menu down at the lunchroom too, so that is accurate today. Chicken drumsticks or cheese breadsticks with marinara sauce. At this time, let's see what birthdays we Happy birthday! And we have one birthday to announce today. Happy birthday to Amerith Martinez Estrada. Enjoy your birthday, Amerith, and come on down to the office for your birthday pencil. Okay, let's see here. A few announcements. Just a reminder that tonight is girls basketball practice for the 5th and 4th grades. 5th grade 3.30, 4th grade 4.30. Uh, tonight, we also have the trunk or treat going on at the middle school parking lot, and that runs from 5.30 to 7. And I've been asked um, about basketball practice, and it's okay that it goes till about 6 o'clock because you can trunk or treat after that if your family chooses to. You don't have to go. I'm just telling you about it so that if, you, if your family wants to go, they know what's going on, and you know what's going on, so you can make sure the information gets shared out. So, trunk or treat, 5.30 to 7. I just asked Mrs. Babb, and yes, we will have a table there or a chair there or something there to help pass out candy to. So, if you're there tonight, we'll see you there. Um, Halloween, par Halloween parade is tomorrow, 2.10. 2.10. So, that will be in between the 2nd and 3rd and 4th and 5th grade recesses. Right now, they're still saying no rain during that time, and so we're going to use the back bus loading parking lot. I talked to Mrs. Hall this morning, and she has our playlist ready to go. And so I'll take the big speaker outside, and we'll boom some music, and, and we'll enjoy some tunes and show off our costumes. And then um, go back to into classrooms to finish parties or whatever else is going on tomorrow. Um, I don't know about parties, so when people ask me on the playground about your parties, I don't know. See, I'm not in your class, so you need to ask your teachers if you're not sure. Although, here's what I know. By now, I bet every teacher has told you what the party plans are. That's why it's important when they share information to listen so that you know what's going on. It makes it easier for everybody. If you do not celebrate Halloween, I sure hope we see you here before your party starts in your classroom so you can be here part of the day tomorrow so you can still enjoy some learning with us. Um, hand washing, it's a big deal. We've got some extra germs in the building right now and they're causing something called hand, foot, mouth disease. Really weird name, I know. And it doesn't make you sick, like throw up. It just kind of gives you a rash and stuff on your face. Um, but we want to get rid of it. So make sure you're washing your hands after you use the restroom, before you're eating, all those important things. Um, I know we've got the hand, uh, the washy washies going again. So make sure you're keeping your hands nice and clean um, and we can get rid of all those extra germs, please and thank you. Best of luck to, or actually no, break a leg. Ooh, I almost said the wrong thing and I, I'm, a, I'm a play person myself. Uh, break a leg to Mr. Vatz's class. They are putting on the Spiderella play today, and I'm sure several of you have a chance to take part and watch. Some of you might remember being part of Spiderella when you were in second grade if you had Mr. Vatz as a teacher. So, good, uh, best, ha, ah, I keep doing it, break a leg. Did you know that if you say good luck to a person doing a play, that that's actually considered bad luck? I don't know why, it's an old, it's an old story, but so you say break a leg instead. I don't know, weird thing, so there you go, you just learned something new. Um... Gaga Pits. I told you I would update you on the Gaga Pits if I learned anything. I was just told yesterday that they cannot go back where they were because that area will still be kind of flooded and wet. And so I have to find two new areas for the Gaga Pits. But here's the good news. As soon as I can figure out where we're going to put those on the mulchy part of the playground, then they can put them back in place. We don't have to wait till next spring to have the Gaga Pits back. We can have them back sooner. And so as soon as I have that figured out, I'll talk to Mr. Clouser, and we'll have the Gaga Pits back. So thank you for your patience. I told you I'd tell you when I knew. That's what I know so far. Um, speaking of washing hands and restrooms, bathroom battle. So yesterday I did some checks, and I know it's the week of Halloween, so I'm expecting crazy things. And... You guys did a great job yesterday. Both boys and girls get an extra piece. And yes, I put the extra girls one in yesterday at the end of the school day. So, thank you. Great job, both of you. Tomorrow is our last day for adding tokens in. I call them tokens. I know they're just cards, but tokens in. And then I will pull the winner out after that, and I will award a free extra recess to one, either the boys or the girls. Oh, let's see. I think that's everything. So, at this time, would you please stand for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all.
Thank you, Pledge Helpers. That was a great job. And everyone have a great day, learners.